NMR, or Nuclear Magnetic Resonance, is an extremely powerful chemical tool which we can use to identify compounds or substances within a particular sample. Now the physics behind NMR is actually quite complicated. So what we'll do here is we'll give you a pretty basic overview of how it works. However, in the HSC, you don't need to know it in any great depth because it really is quite tricky. The first thing to know is that each element and the nucleus of each element have particular electric and magnetic properties. So when we put an external magnetic field onto these particular elements, the way that they interact with that field will be unique to each element. As a result, we can use this interaction to gain a good understanding of the substances within a particular sample. We typically use hydrogen ions for this, or in other words, protons. Protons, when we put a magnetic field onto them, will align with the field. This means that they'll literally spin and line up with the field that we induce. However, there's some small probability that the hydrogen ions will flip. This is called the anti-parallel state. What we can do is we can switch the magnetic field on and off, and we can vary it throughout the sample and gain a good understanding of the rate at which these particles flip from anti to in line with the magnetic field. This characteristic time can be used to determine the concentration of particular elements and the presence of particular ions. Commonly, we use, as I've said, hydrogen ions for this, and this is how MRI works. Because hydrogen ions are so prevalent in particularly water, we can use it to detect high concentrations of water within the human body, which are characteristic of things like tumors. We also use NMR to detect other substances such as carbon-13. Carbon-13 is especially used to date substances as it's a very stable compound and lasts an extremely long time. Using carbon-13 means that the NMR process takes quite a lot longer, but it's very useful for dating purposes. Thank you so much for watching these chemistry videos. We hope that you've enjoyed them and make sure to check out the videos for all of your other subjects.